In this video, we look at how we can use the .NET command line interface to create NuGet packages and publish the same to a NuGet server. Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Chaitanya and you can call me Chai. I have more than a decade and a half of experience with software development as a developer, tech lead, architect and various other roles around designing and delivering software products. We'll begin by understanding what type, what type of projects you have to create and how you can publish and the basic settings around publishing uh, NuGet packages and then understand the pack command which will help you to create the NuGet package files. Now we, I finally I will show you the the new the publish command uh, which would or the push command which will push the package to the library uh, and as if you have an access to a private NuGet server you'll be able to try that command and you know the idea is to understand end to end how do you create a, a project for NuGet packages what settings would you specify and how do you pack and publish the, the NuGet package to, to share it with other developers and the teams. So let's begin with uh, and understand how to create a NuGet packages in uh, .NET CLI and then uh, look at how to push, right? The, the, for this purpose of this demo, we'll go back to the, the demo project which I created in one of my previous videos, uh, the link to which is uh, down below in the description. So uh, what, we, what we created in there was uh, we created an API project, a library project, and a test project, right? So uh, a library project is what is generally used uh, when you want to generate a NuGet package. Having said that, you could we could generate a NuGet package for uh, uh, other type of projects as well. So before we look into the command and uh, uh, gender the package, uh, there are a few settings that you could modify or keep it default. Uh, especially when you're publishing a NuGet package, it would it is it is a good practice to uh, go ahead and update the settings to reflect your organization or your uh, own uh, details. Whether it's uh, I, I, let me go through that. Right? If you if you see here, uh, whenever you know, what is the name of the package? Now this could be your this is, the, this is the name that is displayed in, in, in the NuGet server when it is published. What are the versions you need? Who is the author, the company, and all the product? And it has a default value, right? So anything that you want to specifically say, what is the description of your? So anything that you want to specify the links to your copyright link, your project URL, maybe your GitHub URL and, and icon. So this is the settings that you can specify. Uh, at the time of uh, in a in a development time, and then you know what kind of license you have and everything, right? So with these settings uh, ready, uh, you all you need to do to go into uh, uh, is let me open up the command prompt. So now, I, since I want to generate the academy dot libraries uh, NuGet package for the libraries. Now, what I, I I I can the first step as we see in the previous is dot is to do a dot net build, and since now I'm inside the libraries, it will just build the library project because and it would have, because it performed the CS project. Now, in order to uh, Let it let the build car complete. It is able to build. Now I'll say dot net pack. So pack is the command which you can use to create the new gates packages for the current project. Now again here, uh, what uh, you can specify the output directory, 
and and you know uh, the log the interactive and verbosity of your logs the ver version suffix the configuration the default but the two important thing additionally for when you're creating a, when you're basically packing your nuget package is your include symbols and uh, include symbols will read will uh, in ensure your pdb files and all other files are included in the uh the symbol file is generally used when especially when you have a scenario where the application has crashed or the package has crashed the service the symbol files will help you to load and load and debug similarly include source will include your source files and the pdb files everything so that you could debug the application uh, or debug the package in the dev environment so generally uh, any dev uh, packages will include source so that the whoever is uh, using your package they'll be able to debug and and fine tune and uh, and in 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 your live or the production package we generally don't include source uh, here so now if i just do a dot net pack uh, it would go ahead and you know first build, restore build and then go ahead and generate the package now if i go into the nuget uh, into the bin debug you see there is a NuGet package with the version uh, 1.0.0, right? So now again, you know, just like in the build, I can specify uh, ver version suffix, and then let's say I specify beta. And then it was again, they regenerate the package with the new version uh, with the version uh, suffix included so if you see now there is a beta package which i can now go ahead and push and publish it to various uh, environments or the nuget server now with the nuget package created uh, let's look at what are the options available to push this nuget package into uh, a private nuget server right so uh, the, for in dotnet provides the dotnet cli provides a particular command uh, focused on nuget operations example i have dotnet nuget is the command where i can do all the operations related to nuget so for example if i get the help i can add a new source a nuget source i can delete disable a source i can list the current sources which are i'm currently using let's say if i say dot net uh, new get and then if i say list it will list all the sources which are currently configured which right now which is nothing but uh, uh, the, uh, the the global uh, new get global uh, new get server so now if i again go back help so it will list down all the uh, operations one of the operation is push push is the command where it, you can go ahead and uh, uh, the nuget package that we created we can use the push command to go ahead and publish or push it to the server so if i say again uh, again uh, the help now i can say dot net nuget push and then hyphen h now i'll get specifically the help uh, what I, what switch and options i can specify when i'm when i'm pushing when i'm using the push command so the key key parameter here when we are using a push command is the key or k or the api key which is uh, which is the key that you get from your private nuget server so that you, the the, the uh, authentication authorization is done for based on the key and then you specify the the symbol files the source files and the symbol files so that it can all be published as one single package so how does your command look uh, here with the complete command is nuget dot net nuget push and then i'll say hyphen k i will follow the i'll pass the api key followed by the name of the nuget which is in this case you know this is my this is okay let me go into bin debug and academy that package so now this command uh, assuming you have a valid api key 
uh, in this case, uh, right now I don't have. So if you pass that a valid API key, it would go ahead and push this package into that particular NuGet server and be available for everybody else to access. So this has been uh, uh, the steps to create a NuGet packages and then push it to a server. Uh, in the in the later video, we will look at how to uh, how to use Visual Studio and and uh, manage NuGet and publish push everything using you know, Visual Studio, but that will be a separate video. Uh, thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future notifications and videos.